This is part two of a video series showing you how to 3D model your own printable gingerbread man candy dish in Fusion 360. In part one, we got our sketch started, and if you'd like to follow along, I've got that linked in the description. In this video, I'll show you how to finish creating the container, and we'll run a test print to make sure that everything fits the way that it's supposed to. So let's go ahead and move forward. The next thing that we'll do is we're going to go ahead and create the actual functional element. So we're going to hit finish sketch. And what I'm thinking, so with these, we're gonna want, I want a lid on the top, but I also want the ability to be able to get the different decorative elements fairly easily. So it being a box, um, here, we'll, we'll just, I'll explain as we go. So I'm gonna hit E for extrude, and then we're gonna extrude this up. And I think we're gonna just go like, <clears throat> we'll go about, that looks really big. Let me go about 50 millimeters for now. Let's go 60 actually. So to change that, to go from 50 to 60, I'm gonna double click down here and then I'm gonna change that to a 60. Then we're gonna hit okay. And that might be a little, I think I'm gonna scale it in the X and the Y cause that might look a little better. Cause I, I looked at, you know, looking at the ruler, I don't want it much smaller than 60 millimeters. So let's go ahead and go to modify scale and let's scale this thing um i want to scale it from the dead center from the origin so let's do 1.25 and we don't want uniform i only want 1.25 in the x and y but not in the z okay that looks okay. that looks decent um, now let me go ahead and hide the origin and we are going to go ahead and chop it and create the lid and the body itself. So um, let's see, to, ooh, actually I need to go ahead and save. There's your lesson, save things way earlier on in your project. I really hope nobody's um, thing crashed on them. But what we're going to do is I'm just going to chop the piece that's going to be the lid and then we're going to hollow it out and make the functional part and then we'll add the decorative elements. So <clears throat> we've got 60 millimeters tall. I think I want the lid to be like only like 10 millimeters tall. That's really all it needs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to construct offset plane and then I'm going to click this top face and I'm going to bring it down 10 millimeters and then hit OK. And now we're going to go ahead and go to split body and select that plane as our splitting tool. And now we've got two different pieces, the body of the container and the lid. So I'm going to left click this plane and hit V on my keyboard for visibility to hide it. Um, now what we want is we want, if we go to bodies and one thing I'm also going to do, sometimes I'm horrible about this, but I'm going to go to create component and then I'm going to say, I'm going to call it gingerbread box. And then we're going to put these bodies holding shift. We're going to drag these bodies into that component. I should have done that in the beginning. It's not really going to make a big difference in the sake of this design, but overall it's a good idea to create your components ahead of time. Um, but let's go ahead and hollow out the actual container part. So we're going to hide this one. We'll go ahead and rename these. It's also helpful to name your bodies as you go. So lid and container, and then we're going to hide the lid and the container to hollow it out. All we're going to do is go to the shell command. And I think I want to make it about probably about five millimeters thick. I think body could not be repaired after deleting faces. Try to change in the selection. Um, oh, you know what? It's because of those sharp corners, I think. Let's see, hold on. I think it's having an issue because these sharp corners right in here. So I'm gonna select that corner and then this one, and I'm gonna see if I can fill it them out a little bit. And that makes it look a little better anyways. So I'm gonna do a three millimeter fillet. That makes it look a little smoother. And then we're gonna try the shell command again. Click the top face, hit five, and that works. The reason it wasn't working before is just if you have sharp corners like that, fillets and chamfers and hollows sometimes can have issues. Um, and that's just one of the woes of working in Fusion 360, I suppose. So we're going to hit OK. And this looks all right. Now, I want you to look at something. So with the lid, 
we need to figure out how the lid is going to stay in place. And I've thought about this with this design. We could technically print the lid with the face down and then do whatever we want on this side, like put a little lip or something to get it to stay in place. But that's going to cause issues getting our decorative elements on the top of the the lid. And I want to be able to do the mouth and the eyes and, you know, either with a multicolor printer or doing color changes. So what we want to do is I want this lid to be printing in this same orientation with this side down and where the face and everything will be up. So what we need to do is, or what I'm thinking we'll do, uh, let's take a look at this. So we're going to go to section analysis and then I'm going to choose right here and hit OK. So what I want is I want a little bit of a chamfer um, lid situation. So it'll go in and it'll be resting in place, not necessarily like a lip because we don't, well, we can create a lip, but you'll see what I mean here in a second. So let's hide this analysis view. And then we're going to go to our lid. And what we're going to do is extrude. So let's hit E for extrude. Then we're going to extrude down. We want to go down five millimeters. And then we're going to do a chamfer, a five millimeter chamfer on this whole face. That didn't like that up there. Oh, because we still got to fill it these edges. There, there's another mistake of mine. We filleted the edges on the container, but not on the lid. So what we can do um, is we can go back to this fillet and we can hold control and then select these edges as well. I've got to love making all these mistakes in the middle of a tutorial, but hopefully you guys um, see. And also it messed up that it, this extrude right here because we didn't have those faces selected. So let's go double click into this extrude, reselect, hit OK. And now we're good. Um, and now we can try that five millimeter chamfer again. Oh, not that edge, this face, five millimeter chamfer. Hit OK. And now, as you can see, we've got a way that it will rest into place, but it's still not done yet because we need to adjust our, our lower, um, our container. And an easy way to do that is just to cut the, using the lid cut from the container. So if I go to combine and then I change this to cut and we want to choose our target body, our target body is the container and then our tool body is the lid and that will cut it. And we want to keep our tool or the lid. So we're going to go to keep tools and then hit OK. Now you can see it's resting. There is that chamfer cut out. Let me get rid of this and pull off the lid. You can see that the lid will just come down and rest right into place. Um, and I can kind of, it's sometimes I do this as well to get a little visual is I'll go to move, make sure this says bodies. I'm going to choose our lid and I just kind of look at it and see, you know, what it's going to do. And that looks good to me. So now we are going to go ahead and fill it the top and bottom, give it a little bit of roundness. So we're going to choose this bottom face and we're going to go to fill it. Let's see how three millimeters looks. Eh, let's try five. I think five, maybe maybe seven or eight. Seven looks good. I think seven is okay. And it can be kind of hard to tell how it looks because of all these lines and stuff. So we can go to display settings and change our visual style to shaded. And that kind of you know shows what it's going to look like a little bit better without the lines. But I like keeping the lines there shaded with visible edges while I'm modeling. And then we're going to add a slight fillet to the bottom, not as big as the top because it's going to be flat down on the build plate and you don't want too harsh of a fillet. We just want it a little rounded so it's not really sharp. Um, and that looks to be it. That's pretty much it for the outer shape in the actual container itself. So what I like to do in these situations is give it a print and just see if it's going to work out um, and make sure that the functional aspect of it is going to fit together the way that I want. And then we will continue with the decorative element. So let's go ahead and give this thing a test print. And real quick, I wanted to take a moment to thank all of my wonderful Patreon supporters. It's because of all your wonderful support that I am able to create these models and make these tutorials. 
Now back to our test print. So I just used black filament because it's what I had loaded in the printer and everything I think looks pretty good. The fit is nice and snug. It doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. I think the one thing that we will adjust is the thickness of the lid. And that is the end of part two. In the next video, we will make that adjustment to the lid and we will give our gingerbread man a face. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and we will see you on the next one.